day two at the Steubenville Marina. I'm really hoping today that we can bring some closure for Karen Adams' family. The car is very tilted. It's a red car. No make on the wheel. So what's going on now? We actually just pulled out two wheels and part of the frame of this car. We're looking at it right now to determine if it's from the same vehicle of Karen Adams. That's it. It ain't coming out. Yeah. That is definitely gonna wrap up the video, guys. It's pouring down rain. Now, All right, so what I need you guys to do to begin with, I'll need everything out of the boat that doesn't belong in there in the floorboard. After that, we'll lock everything up and put the boat in. Just looking at her Karen's travel patterns um, and driving through parks. Um, basically, we're trying to cover every body of water uh, between Mountaineer and here. Um, but she did, she liked to travel through parks. Um, and the reservoir is located within a mile of her home. Um, weather conditions that night, potentially black ice, uh, you know, possible accident. Um, so we're just, uh, just trying to cover cover everything we can between here and Mountaineer. I looked at the area. From the area, there's a there's a gated lock, or there's a, there's a gate. It's it's locked, it's pretty got a pretty big lock on it. So, unless she knew of someone who had a key, or if she had a key, due to there's like a bike path here, or a walking path, she was a very athletic person. Someone, uh, you know, one of the, the agents has told us. So with that, could she have been over here and uh, decided to go in the section here? Yeah. Or does she have an accident on that road on the, on the is it Service Church Road? It's uh, yeah, Service Church Road, yep. You know, Road's so right those right. are the options we're looking at today. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video of Depths of History. This is our second day searching for Karen Adams and it's a case that we've been looking into. Well, Jacob's been looking into this case for eight months. I've been on the case with you for the last couple of days. Yep. We've been searching the Steubenville Marina and we located a ton of different cars. Today we are at Ambridge Reservoir and there are a couple turns in the road that Josh Hammond behind the camera, I really wanted to give him a huge thanks. He's coming out today to give us some information on the places that he thinks need to be searched. And he actually knew Karen. I, I waited on Karen, you know, several times that year and a half. So not that I, I knew her, but she was a familiar face. So this one's a little personal for me and I'm, I'm grateful that you guys are here to, uh, to help us locate her. So with that being said, we got the boat in the water now. It's 13 feet right where we basically got off. There's actually a dam that runs over here. There's a ton of different fish in this lake, they've said. And I really hope we can bring some answers for Karen's family. So we're gonna start searching and start sonaring and ho hopefully uh, ho hopefully your car's in here. This is one of the top places that everybody's wanted to search. Suzuki Forenza. This is maroonish red in color. Um, we are looking for about 15 to 16 foot long car. Um, probably about five ish feet in height. It was the sedan, it was not the hatchback version. All right. 
right, 17 feet. We're gonna take and really pay close attention to this area due to its proximity close to our house. We don't want to miss anything, so I want to take extra precautions, like always, but I want to make sure that this spot here gets checked. So we're right by this church. There's a huge cemetery and a big hill with uh, what looks to be a driveway driving up. So, so this is one of the most likely spots that we're going to be checking up here. And this has been Josh, your biggest area of concern is this right here. Yeah. I mean, the reservoir in general, but yeah, this, this spot. specifically this spot. Due yeah. to broken um, posts that run along the mm -hmm. run along the road and um, bent posts, and it looks like some kind of impact. And those are steel posts, aren't they're they? They're not posts. wood. So I mean, that was some force that. That was a lot of force. Significant force to, yeah. to bend those posts. That object that we've seen is right around in here. Right here. Should be you should be seeing it on your sonar. What I want you to do, Britt, that is the live scope, right? Yeah. That magnet, we're gonna drop it right on top of that object when she finds it. If it sticks, oh. we're gonna dive it. Oh, right there. Right there. Yep. Yep. That looks more like a car. You see the mag? Okay, the magnet's here. Yeah. The car's here. All right, let me. Uh, let me see. Yeah, right, you should be on the hood. If that's yeah. a hood, go drop it. Did it stick? We're just off to the side of it. Okay. It's not sticking. Okay. All right, then we'll go back over and hold on. I don't know if we're on top of it or not. Was that magnet pretty clean? Yeah. Okay. You're on the side of it. Yep. Britt, throw it out a little and bring it back. See if that... It's not like hard, hard, hard but it's I, I'm, I'm definitely like getting a connection. See, like there, I'm like, okay, it's on its side, you know? Gotta be able to just drop in the water right there. Just like... Should I just go right on the other side? Stick, stick your camera down as far as you can in that water. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Stick your camera as far down. Let me put it on a rope. Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Josh, you're pretty damn it? smart, you know that? <laughs> that was Jacob it. tie it. Jacob tie it. was an amazing it. idea. Wow. You were, uh, I knew there was a reason why we got you here. <laughs> Should I put it in? Right give, now. give me a second. Yeah, I got a good angle on it right now. It's gonna be good when we drop it in. All right, go ahead and start dropping it in. We'll try to steer you that direction. Should be right over top of it. I only got one little glimpse of it and it looks like a piece of metal. Yeah, I watched the whole clip, but it's just like one little piece of it. The only thing I've seen in that was a lot of sediment. So you're not going to stick on whatever you have with the magnet. Right there. There it is, right there. That's like an amazing picture. Of it. Really? Oh, well, let me get it. Let me get it. We're not even close to the location. Well, there's something there. Right on the left? Yeah, just drop it down. We should be on top of it right now. So where am I? I can't see my group right Put that thing in the water.
Mike's coming to get your GoPro. <laughs> really? <laughs> that looked like a dead gum alligator. That was a freaking eight pound bass. <laughs> it was. That's that sucks, man. So guys, we're uh, we're still following along. We uh, we actually thought we found a car, and it was right in the perfect spot because there was a break in the fence, and we used the live scope, and it really did look like a car. It looked like the windshield was there. So we got a little uh, contraption here that Jacob helped me rig up, and uh, we put the GoPro right here, stuck it into the water while the live scope was shining on the car, and it was a rock. So. Very disappointing, um, but I did catch like a eight pound bass that like just went, happened to long. 50, yeah. 50 yeah. inches long, possibly. We're gonna search the roadway here, just in, just, just to get this out of our, out of our heads. Oh. It worked, held it on. Well, I'm so bummed out, man. No, I'm not bummed out. I'm I'm actually super grateful that we searched this because now I know yeah. there's nothing here, man. All right, everybody, so we're coming upon a little inlet here, and I don't, there's a there's a road that runs right over to the right. We're gonna search it. All right, well, I learned this. It's getting deeper. So we're going to our last spot. As you can see, we're right next to a road. And this could be a liable spot for cars to be in. We're 4.1 feet now, but back there we were at seven feet. Um, it's dropping again. It's dropping again now. All right, no more wasting time here. We're gonna I am kind of like briefly searching out here because there's really nothing to rule out at this point. She could float all the way out here, but there's really nothing here for her to go off of. We can see a huge pipe running through where the lake is. It's about 20 feet right here. And I'm not really seeing anything that resembles a car. Jacob's not either. going to wrap up searching for Karen Adams. We've been working the case for about three days now and this was a place of very prime importance. Like we wanted to get this body of water done. We wanted to sonar this area and it had to get done one way or the other. So Josh, I don't want you to feel bad about this man. This was definitely a great spot to check out. I'm glad at least that we've scanned it now and we know that her car is not there. So until we see you guys on the next one, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for supporting all of us. Love you, bye. Keep diving, guys. We'll see you guys on the next episode.